up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, right here at my very own project, Marty Music. Uh, I'm going to teach you George Michael, Careless Whispers. Uh, you know, obviously, it's sad that he just passed away. And it's uh, nice to remember these artists with their classic tunes. So we'll break this one down. I'm obviously going to show you that sax or saxophone line there, sexy phone, um, and show you the chords. It's a nice kind of jazzy kind of song. So I hope you enjoy it. And... Uh, Let's, uh, let's just get right to it. All right, so this song is in the key of D minor, and that classic uh, saxophone melody is the D minor scale. And I'm gonna show you that first. So you can kind of use the D root here on the 10th fret of the E and your D minor pentatonic scale as kind of your skeleton, uh, but there's other little half steps and things. So we're gonna start with the uh, 12th fret of the high E. And then we go down to the 10th fret of the high E, then 10 of the B, then 10 of the G. Oops, so it sounds like this. And I just slid into the 12th fret of the high E. But that's it. Then we're going to do... 13 on the B to 11 on the B, then 10 on the G, then 12 on the D. So, and these are just outlining the chords that I'm about to show you. So, 13, 11, 10, 12, and then the second repeat of that melody. It just doesn't play that note. It just cuts off before that, like that. So you put those all together, it sounds like this. The next melody starts on that uh, 11 of the B, then 10 of the B, then 10 of the G, so you have to kind of roll your finger over. So 11, 10, 10, then 12 on the D, then 13 on the A. And that's a, these are all called arpeggios basically. They outline the chord progression. So. Okay, so from the top. So the last thing just climbs up the scale until you start the melody over. So it uh, climbs up from the 12 of the A. So 12 and 13 on the A. Then 10 on the D, 12 on the D. Then you have to scoot back and go nine on the G. Nine, 10, 12, then 10 on the B. And then the whole thing starts over, so. 12, 13, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12, 10. All right, so let's get to the song. I think uh, we're gonna play with bar chord. So we're gonna play a D minor bar chord with the root on the A string. 
then a G minor chord. So I'm going to play root on the E string, third fret barred, E minor shape. So. That's a D minor to G minor, then B flat major, and I'm playing B flat major seven, but a regular B flat major will work, the roots the E string on the sixth fret, but to play that major seven chord, which is a little jazzier, index finger on that root, sixth fret, middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string, so they're on the same fret, and then pinky and ring finger are only a half step higher. Ring fingers on the seventh of the D, pinkies on the seventh of the G, and my index finger is just muting that A string without even trying. And my index finger is also, including my palm, muting that high E. So that's the B flat major seven. Then you go down to A minor, which is just a half step lower barred on the fifth fret. And then you're on the same fret to start over again. G minor, B flat major seven, A minor. I'm just giving a little funky rhythm. Uh, obviously, I'm playing it as if you were just playing it on guitar by yourself, but you just gotta like, a, you know, down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, 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 down, up, down. All right, there was the lesson. Uh, thanks again for supporting uh, me at my very own project, Marty Music. Uh, thanks for spreading the word. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, you know, a little melancholy learning it right now, but I, I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you again in another video real soon. So take care. <laughs>